which always a crap shot with that rocket. G'day people, I'm Monster Dad. Welcome back to our Imperium playthrough. Uh, as you can see, I've got my helmet off and the fan is going, so we're oxygenated in the base now, <laughs> which is really. Let's stick it back on again, actually. I'm going outside, which is great. <coughs> Excuse me. Our grow plots are in place, that's all working. We've got an oxygenated room for those, which is great. We're making some corn and some. Well, pretty much all I've got at the moment is one fruit and two vegetables. I, I need to start gathering some proper materials. I was making some burgers because the burgers are quite decent, a decent source of food. 200 food. Hmm. They don't last a huge amount of time, but good food source nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me show you. I, I did a few changes to the base. Well, I have to say, not, not exactly changes, but more updates. Um, adding the other stairs in. And I think they, they look pretty good actually. I like that. And I've enclosed these areas here. So we've got uh, power system behind this one and, and O2 tanks behind this one. I couldn't close this last bit off because it just wouldn't fix. I've got a half block there of wood. Yeah, I haven't really changed much at the top. Oh, I did change the front. Somebody did point out that I put this on wonky. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd started this side of it too far over this way so I fixed that and ended up with with one block in the middle and I thought yeah well actually yeah I took the FM off and put a, a single statue there um, used one of the destroyed blocks this side and the other side just to give that a bit of character yeah and the base is coming on really good I, I'm really pleased with this build it, it's it's come out much nicer than I expected to, I expected it to. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this build. Really good fun. Um, it feels like a base, if you, if that makes sense. You know, I've got these areas here. Let's have a sniper, sniper rifle. Can I reach them? Yeah, I don't think I can. Yeah, the drones come in from over that way. So yeah, didn't change much at this end. That still just goes through there and around there. The main change I did off camera was add those added O2, change that up a bit. I've added a few switches. It's my internal lights because it, I was going through quite a bit of power. Um, and I've got some external lights, which I'll pop them on. Uh, I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to see it during the daytime. Let's have a look. Open sesame. I suppose I better get my rifle out. There's not a lot of dangers around here in this immediate vicinity of the base, which is great. So yeah, so I've put this hidden lighting around all the way around, and yeah, I think it it, it gives it a bit of a nicer feel that up lighting. I I really like it. Bit of a little bit of an extra detail to it um, that I think works. Wee. And yeah, I've got that all the way around now. So I use quite a lot of lights, which is why I put the switch there for when I don't need them because they're they're burning through a fair amount of power. I'll pop them off at the moment. Um, and my internal lights, I'll pop them on because we can go into the, the buildings. So yeah, added medical and medical storage and O2 storage. I can top up my O2 from a couple of points around the base. Armor locker, and in here I've got sort of weapo, weapons and equipment. Um, where did I find that? Can't remember now. Mm, can't remember. Laser rifle. Where did I find that? Um, yeah, this wreckage. Um, this is a really good wreckage to loot. I haven't looted it. I just walked through it, and there were a couple of containers that I could easily get to, but a lot of it's buried. Um, but I'll show you the wreck today. Found of it, I, I sort, of, sort of explored about this half of the planet, the half that we sort of control, and didn't find a huge amount. There's an armory down there. 
I found the Titan Rex. They're all down here. Um, next to an abandoned reactor. And I think the abandoned reactor is going to be our first uh, ta attack target. Because we don't have an SV yet, so I can't really attack the armory. But because it's just an abandoned reactor, reactor I think we can go into that. I've, do you know what? I, I've never, ever done the abandoned reactor. So that one's going to be a new one on me. Um, so I, I half expect to die once or twice on the way through it. Uh, found a colony that's there. Um, yeah, and that's another unknown structure up there. And that's pretty much it, really. I didn't come across the drone base. I know it's down in there's a wreckage. They they sort of come over here, so they've got to be coming from. They've got to be over here somewhere. The drone base. Yeah, they must be must be down here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what else did I do? Didn't really change a lot here. Um, this is my living quarters. Put a little bit of deco down. Not a lot. It turned out all right. Fairly cozy. It's a very tall room though. Um, <laughs> that wasn't intentional. It just sort of just sort of happened. And you just saw the the grow plots in there, so that's sealed as well. So it's just those three rooms really. And I don't think I really need much more than that. I do have the turrets now on. A switch there so they'll come up whenever I get a drone warning I'll just switch those on when I'm done with them just switch them off and they'll they'll tuck themselves away which is good yep yeah, so let me turn all the lights we don't really need the lights on at the moment okay so what I want to do today is it, we've got this HV here but it, it's not very maneuverable I've got too much stuff on it um, constructor, fridge, I took the fridge off actually and, and various other things that I just don't need on it it's it's a mining vessel pure and simply and that's what I want to keep it as I don't need that block on there okay so what I want to do today is build a little HE oops excuse me I just banged my microphone um, so I've got all the parts for it that I need just here I think why am I carrying grain around? I think I was going to put that in the constructor and make some more plastic. Might as well turn it all in plastic for it. It um, spoils. So yeah, I want to make it a HV, and this one is going to have a grinder on it. It's um, this one's purely going to be a food and and light exploration hv really more than anything else i'm not sure if i'm going to put a turret on it if i do i'll probably just take the turret off of this one and pop it on there um, but i don't intend getting into combat in this particular hv it's purely like a recon stroke grinder yeah pretty much so that's what i want to do but what i'm going to do is, is just fast forward the build for it did I make? Do you know what? When I create all the stuff for my HVs and queue them up in my constructors, the one thing I always forget is the actual starter block. Um, without fail, I always forget it. What did I want? Oh, I just wanted a couple of concrete blocks. Uh, we. Um, let's just. Press N, connect to form at Mon. Um, I, and somebody asked if I was going to leave all this as sand. And I am. I think it adds to the the atmosphere of the actual base to have all this internal area sand. What I will do is make a couple of small landing areas for the, the vehicles. But the majority of this will remain as sand. Um, the reason I've got this block here is because I want... There we go to start the HV up on the top of that block then you can remove those two blocks and it will just float in the air um, because the the um, physics in this game aren't, aren't like space engineers it, things can float and that way I can get to the underneath of it nice and easily so let's do it from this angle here Pop 
that on there. And then what I can do is just remove these. And then we can now get to the underneath of that HV. So what I will do now is I'll fast forward this build. It's not going to be anything particularly special. It's just going to be a basic straightforward HV um, for a pretty basic use. So I will see you in a little while. Later. Welcome back. Uh, just had a drone attack warning, so I ran over and popped the turrets up. Yep, done. <laughs> um, I, I did it this colour, but it doesn't look anything like this colour. Um, I'm not really not sure why. Very, very strange. Let's have a look. Um, no, it isn't. That isn't that colour, is it? Oh, that's weird. How do I get this colour back then? Oops. Um, that's the colour, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. So, if I copy... Is this how it works? Then go to this one and paste. Oh, yeah, cool. 
Cool. Oh, it's just automatically done it. Oh, that's very cool. I like it. I like it. Okay. Well, let's get some power on this bad boy. On. There we are. Well, I might as well take it out for a little test drive to collect our stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best HV I've ever, ever put together. But it should serve its purpose. I guess we could test out the grinder here as well, couldn't we? Because there's usually a couple of those OTRs or whatever they're called. Yeah. They get in the way of... There's three of them here today. They get in the way of um, me collecting this stuff. Well, they're tough. This one's going to have to get out of the way as well before these things despawn. Okay. Let's get our booty. Our booty. I better raise up all the way just in case I get attacked. Oh, at last! Flux coil. At last! What was the other one? Right next to us. Oh, and another one. Nice. Is that guy too far away? Might as well grab some food whilst we're at it. Don't know if I'm going to be able to we'll reach. We'll reach. No. Good. That was good time for the drones to turn up just as we finished the HV. Let me in. for now yeah okay good so that's that bit done uh why am i going up here I'm not quite sure i need to top up my oxygen for a start i don't want to go in there uh, i was going to pop those away okay Rid of that. We. Might as well turn those bad boys into steak. Oh, burgers ready. Cool. Okay. Good. 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 Right. Okay, we're doing all right. We are doing all right. What's left on those? Oh, a ton of time. A ton of time. Put those in the medical cabinet, and I think put those burgers into the new hover vessel. 
when we just I just need to configure some stuff on that first. Let's put these color tools away. I'm not gonna defend myself very well with a color tool, am I? So blind them with a the paint. How much yeah, I've got plenty of O2 on me. Okay, we should be okay. Now where do I put my weapons? Right there. I want to make myself tier two drill. Um, still don't have a tier two multi tool. I really need that. I uh, can't think what I was missing for that. What was I missing for that? Oh, I can make one. Oh, I. I, I was waiting for a flux call. That was it. Oh, hang on. Boom. Oh, I can't cancel it. Oh, I should have used my... Because you needed a level 1 multi-tool. I could have just popped that one in, couldn't I? <laughs> and I could do with some more drill charges. Tier 2 multi-tool. Thank goodness for that. Do us for now. Um, put that one into there for now. I guess we should take our tent with us when we go out exploring, just in case we need to sleep the night away. Tier two multi tool. I can start taking things apart now. Hmm. Okay. Well, speaking of sleep, might as well do that. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep till morning, then I'll configure my set up on the the new HV, get an idle mode set up on it like I usually do and then we will head off I think to this wreckage um, and the Titans, so I haven't looted the, looted the Titans either and that abandoned reactor taking that out will be dependent on finding at least some medium armor in either this wreckage or in, in one of the Titans and we usually find that in the the Titan back part. Oh, do you know what? There were a load of drones down that area. I probably could do with putting that transferring that minigun to this. Um, did I leave myself enough space on there for that minigun? I think I did, but it will probably hang over a little bit here. We can work with that. Yeah, but I really could do with a gun on that. I guess if I'm going to be going to do those things, mm, I'll have a think about it. In the meantime, I'll sleep, then I'll do that, and I'll see you in the morning when we're ready to set off. Later. Welcome back. Okay, so I've stuck some food in the fridge, some spare O2 in the cargo box, grabbed a, some explosives as well, um, and I think we're ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we've got food. Oxygen, weapons and ammo, some spare fuel. We should be good. We should be good. Ooh, oh. <laughs> if I didn't crash on the way. <laughs> I was thinking about putting a detector on this, but do you know what? I, I don't like the, the ship detectors, the two and a half kilometer range detectors because they detect too much. Um, I know that might sound a bit silly, but if I see something pop up on my radar, I like to see what it is. But the problem with that is you never know which one is the closest one to go to because it's got a two and a half kilometer range. So for instance, it would pick up this wreckage and everything else that's within that two and a half. And you, it's, there are too many choices, I guess. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I prefer the the simple one kilometer handheld one that way you know you you investigate things nearby as to as opposed to traveling forever to do it to find out what it is some really rough terrain on this planet as well and i still have not seen a single golem um i know we used to get them on the arid planets you, it used to be on the 
the high plains I think it was um, that you used to find the, the golems and on a temperate planet you get them on the sand areas but I haven't found a single I haven't found any high plains as such lots of mountains areas but no high plains so yeah I'm really not sure what or where to find them loads of thrusters on this thing as well let's move up close to it um, turn the light on now this one I found one of these before on planet I think it was and yeah it's got quite a bit of medical equipment in it as you can see there there's a couple of other bits dotted around there's one here quite a few of these kind of containers I didn't bother picking up that flashlight I'm not really interested in that um, but the problem with this one is quite a bit of it buried so I am going to come back to this off camera and do a bit of excavation work and find the core. I can't remember where the core was on this one. Um, find the core, make this on my own, and then start getting all the stuff from it because it's got a lot of stuff. Huge amount of thrusters on this thing. A huge amount. Um, that just leads the same way as this door over here. So I shot through a couple of these doors when I was going through it. Found some good stuff. Hmm. Let's take those. Yeah, see, it's quite quite heavily buried this one. But yeah, so this is that wreckage. I think I checked these wardrobes. Yes, I did. And I think there were two the other side. That's where I got the laser rifle and those boosts. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, but I'm going to do that off camera. I don't think you need to watch me doing a load of excavating and digging. If I could find a way out. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is head off to the Titans. Because I kind of know where the loot is on that one. Tons of thrusters on this thing. Absolutely tons of them. Now where did I park? Where did I park? We need a name for this hover vessel. Since it's a sandy colour, what about some kind of like the, the sand snake or something like that? Hmm, possibly. Could work, couldn't it? I don't think I put these hover thrusters wide enough. I might have to adjust that. So let's go. Alright, the key one I want is a Titan back part because that's where the majority of the good loot is. Oh, I didn't bring a core with me. Right, I'm going to cut there, go back and grab a core because I didn't put a constructor on this. Darn it. Okay, see you in a minute. I'll come back. Okay, I had to sneak down the bottom end here. I noticed this last time I came down here, there, there are a few drones over that way. Oh, they must be guarding that Promethean deposit then. Yeah, I couldn't work out why they were there. Um, maybe I hadn't had the Promethean deposit on the on the map. They looked like they were just randomly flying around for no particular reason. But they are quite close. I need to be a little bit careful where I park this. Let's get rid of this bad boy first. lot of spiders around here as well. Lots. He's stuck. Seems to be stuck, doesn't he? Spiders everywhere. Let's just get rid of this one. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, there's the Bannon Rackdale over there. That's going to be one of our first targets, I think. I'd love to tuck this under here just in case those. No, I don't think. Actually, I don't think those drones are going to come over. Um. It's just. Should be okay there, shouldn't it? I should be able to get up. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to have to leave the engines on, I think. Raise it up full. I'm going to have to go from that. Oh, just made it. Okay. Did I bring the cores? I did, yeah. I made a few cores. Since there's a few things down here. Now. Remember how to get into this bit. Without being shot. Oh, I think it's around the other side. That one's coming. Yes, yeah, this way, just here. Can do it without being shot. We get into that bit there. Done it. Okay. Let's get rid of the core. Good stuff. Now, I wonder if that core will attract these over. Mm, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Alright, give us some medium or heavy armor. That's what I really want. I <laughs> thought it was going to be a tier 2 multi tool then, after I just made one. That drone's coming over. Okay, fine. We'll do it the hard way then, shall we? Oh, rocket drone as well. Shooting the core. Job is a crap shot with that rocket. Where is he? He's over there. Come on, where are you? I want those destroyed blocks anyway. Rocket drone. There. Yeah. The core survive? <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> Might as well repair it. Well, that was a bit of excitement. Um, okay, did I look in that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Right. Okay, so let's get this loot. And if you didn't know, a lot of people don't know this, but there's all well, these destroyed blocks are good. There's some loot container. Where are they? There's one of them. And I think there's one on the other side as well. 
Yeah, just say it. Okay, good. Then obviously there's a load of cargo containers on here as well. Um, but what I'll do is I'll loot all that off camera because that's not overly exciting stuff. I really would like to get to loot these drones, but I don't think it's going to be an option at the moment. Now I've got lots of destroyed blocks on this that I can use to detail on the, put detail on the base. Where's that other drone? I think the other one dropped a bit closer. Possibly close enough. No, it's over there. Oh no, fell in. <laughs> Here we go. Might as well go in. Collect our loot, then, haven't we? Um, yeah, so that bridge area, as far as I'm aware, is the, the only real prospect of finding medium or heavy armour on the back part of the Titan. So, I don't guess. God, will you lock. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Um, now the other parts. I can't remember which one's which. That one. I think that's. Is that the one with all the grow plots? So many spiders around here. Yeah, I think that's one of the grow plots. I don't think there's much hope of anything on that one. This one, I think, has some potential. Use a hover boost. Get up out of the way. Nothing. Oh, what are, even the boosts are rubbish. Okay, so I could have just gone around the other side, couldn't I? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Job done. Okay. Now, I know there's a load of cargo boxes again underneath here, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, I do need to get back up to my hover vessel though. Preferably without dying. There we go. Excellent. Right, so. Yeah, we got our loot. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm probably going to call it an episode here. Off camera, like I said, I am going to properly loot the three Titans and that wreck. Um, and then I'm going to do a few preps. And next episode, I think what we're going to do is have a go at the Savannah Reactor. Now, I don't particularly have brilliant weapons with me at the moment. I'm still a bit limited. I've got a Tier 2 Assault Rifle. Can I make an Enhanced Assault Rifle? I know I've unlocked it, but what do I need for that? Cobalt Alloy Rifle Upgrade. Oh, I don't have any Rifle Upgrade Kit, do I? No, no prospect of getting one either. 
Um, tier 2 sniper is a flux coil I need for that and I've got so few of those at the moment I'm really reluctant to use it. So it looks like I'm going to be going in with a tier 2 pistol, a tier 2 rifle and a ordinary sniper rifle. What I might do actually do I have magnesium for rockets? I think I found a little bit of magnesium and I'll probably find a little bit of magnesium in some of the containers on these ships around here as well. If I find enough magnesium I think I'll build a, a, a tier 1 rocket launcher and take that with me as well. That might be just be, be enough to give me the edge. Uh, because I don't know what I'm going to find in there. I haven't Just because. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm going to find in there because I haven't been into an abandoned reactor before. Um, I dare say the prospect isn't good. <laughs> um, and there's a chance I'm going to die. I will need to add a medical bay onto this hover vessel, I think. I think I can probably flatten that bit and add it on the back there. I do have an armor locker. Um, but yeah, I think that that's probably going to be the best thing to do. Do I need it? I probably shouldn't. I, I don't think I'll need a constructor. Um, I'll just make sure I take plenty of ammo with me. Yeah, medical bay. I'll plonk it right in the back there. That should do it. Hmm. Yeah, okay then. Alright. Well, I'm going to call it an episode there. Thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to the next episode where we take on that abandoned reactor with our minimal weapons um, and medium armour. <laughs> I think there's a very good chance of being my first death in a game of Imperium for a very long time. But we'll see. Hopefully not. Um, but tune in next time to find out. I'm Monster Dad, and I'll see you later. Bye!